hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we'll be talking about uh, one more amphibian experiment we have already covered all the skeletal muscle graph and uh, different viva question related to them okay you can visit the amphibian playlist if you want to go through all those so now today we are starting the cardiac one so cardiac graph there are three to four graphs which you can have in your exam right uh, so uh, the this graph is about normal cardiogram how that was recorded so what is this graph about and uh, one more thing you can also get in this graph is effect of temperature in it right okay so again uh, uh, we will understand what is observation part of the graph and what is physiology behind it so how how basically uh, the uh, frog heart was uh, assessed here how the activity was recorded first of all to understand that uh, we should have a idea that uh, this uh, is like this is a frog okay and uh, they have dissected the frog they have not isolated this heart okay and uh, then the pin was passed through apex so can you see this heart was like this and this was uplifted upward so this this heart was previously the heart was here and this was uplifted like this and at apex right this pin was passed and this pin of starling heart lever was passed here okay <clears throat> so this is starling heart lever and which is attached with the pen uh, which is moving on chymograph so this was a setup okay rough setup uh, uh, first thing second thing uh, you should know about the chambers of uh, frog heart so if you see how uh, how basically the structure of frog heart is so this part is sinus venosus okay uh, for, toward the basal region and then this is the apex where pin has been passed so that's why we are reading in the same way so this is sinus venosus and this sinus venosus have uh, the tissue which can generate its own rhythm so that is pacemaker of the frog heart right and then there are two atrias and at last there is one ventricle so there is three chambered heart uh, two atria and one ventricle so this that's how this is a structure of frog heart and uh, the impulse is generated at sinus venosus and that impulse will be transmitted to atrias and then ventricle so that's how the impulse transmit and same for contraction okay so let us now talk about the cardiogram so cardiogram activity is something like this fine so since uh, we know uh, that uh, here basically when we have seen uh, let us just again uh, see this so if heart contracts right heart contract it basically st uh, pull the lever downward that's why every contraction is represented by a downward movement is contraction and upward movement is relaxation are you getting me okay so this is the normal cardiogram and you can see there are various downward deflection upward deflection downward deflection upward deflection again downward and upward okay so there is uh, one cycle that is of small peak and one cycle that is of uh, more amplitude or uh, larger peak right so the smaller uh, this this activity having some contraction and relaxation of some tissue is showing the activity of atria right and there is a larger one uh, which is showing the systole and diastole contraction and relaxation of ventricles okay are you getting me so now are you clear which one is the uh, systole and which one is the diastole because it can be asked in your exam that what is which one is systole so just for revision this part downward deflection of small activity is atrial systole upward deflection is atrial diastole and the larger one ventricle systole and ventricle diastole okay now uh, i think the point is clear to you so this from this point till this point is one cardiac contraction okay showing atria and ventricle activity fine okay so uh, uh, if uh, we have to calculate the heart rate how we'll do that we'll do uh, we, we will have a time uh, any time tracing it can be done by signal marking it can be done by tuning for whatever it is so uh, for example th this uh, marker is showing 5 second duration here okay and uh, you can uh, see that uh, here this is one waveform and uh, roughly two waveform right 
so this is completing a prox second waveform so two you can count so if there are two waveform in 5 second and we uh, have to calculate the heart rate of frog so we know we have to calculate for 60 second so 5 second into 12 is 60 second right so number of peaks in 5 second into 12 so it gives you 24 beats per minute it is your heart rate of frog right so this is normal cardiogram here completes the normal cardiogram so you can be asked what is this which one is the, the systole which one is the diastole how the heart activity was recorded just just idea right and heart rate calculation so you can get in sporting even the heart rate calculation part okay the second point is effect of temperature so if you uh, remember uh, so uh, how basically we can test the effect of temperature we have already seen in skeletal muscle that we can pour the saline or we can dip the tissue in the warm ringer or cold ringer right so the 25 degree celsius is the normal one we have calculated the heart rate the same can be done uh, after application of different temperatures so a warm application around 35 degrees celsius warm saline can be poured on the heart and then the effect can be seen okay and uh, then uh, the number of peaks again in 5 seconds calculated into 12 we uh, can get the heart rate and same uh, for the cold application uh, 50, uh, around 15 degrees celsius cold saline is applied or poured on the heart and we can see the response so if we just observe this response you can have a bit idea that this was normal cardiogram and on warm application you can see the height of contraction increases first thing right second thing you can see the pace the space between peaks you can see here this is reduced here you can see this is reduced so that means there is tachycardia also means the heart rate is increased and the force of contraction is also increased right so increase in rate and force of contraction is our observation on warm application on cold application the re uh, reverse effect we can observe so that is the amplitude is reduced and the rate of contraction is reduced as you can see the, the these peaks are far away from uh, as compared to this one okay so you can get the on cold application there is a reduction in rate of uh, contraction and force of contraction fine now uh, at last you will be able you should be able to calculate the heart rate here so uh, on 35 degrees celsius how many peaks you can observe says say three peaks you can observe so into 12 36 per minute is the heart rate on normal 25 degrees celsius we found 24 beats per minute and 15 degrees celsius we found roughly one peak so 1 into 12 12 beats per minute so you can observe a uh, significant change that this is uh, on warm application there was increase in heart rate on cold application there was reduction in heart rate so uh, you should be able to uh, justify the cause as well so on warm application there is increase in force or amplitude of contraction we have seen that increase in rate of contraction okay so uh, rate of contraction we have seen that on SA node uh, the effect of uh, uh, warm application on SA node basically it increase how rate of contraction is increased we have seen that warm application increases the calcium level decreases the resistance decreases the viscosity as per our uh, understanding in the skeletal muscle the same experiment we found their increase in force of contraction right but what about rate of contraction Traction, how the rate has been influenced here so on warm application there was increase in sodium permeability in, on SA node so in SA node tissue there was increase in sodium permeability because of warm application and that's why there is increase in heart rate and we know that how force of contraction has been affected because of reduction in viscosity hence the muscle is having less resistance because of warm application right and which led to increase in force of contraction okay so this is a very small experiment showing the normal cardiogram the anatomy of heart you can be asked the warm application uh, how basically it's going to change the force of contraction and rate of contraction and the normal cardiogram which one is the atrial and ventricular activity so this is very simple and down to heart so uh, you can have an idea of normal cardiogram in next experiment we'll be talking about the properties of uh, cardiogram so to the point uh, you have to just answer in your viva i hope this point is understood to you thank you so much for watching
सो विल सीन विल सीन नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच बाय बाय